it is a spell on a child of god the spell that permits you to know the truth that even permitted you to preach the truth but they never permit you to do it do you know what that spell means? even though you are serving the god of mercy i will push you to extend even mercy will hate you because a deliberate sin does not attract mercy that spell permits you to know the truth he even permit you to believe it he even permit you to preach it but he say even with all your understanding you will break it and it's happening all you can see is the enemy that did not allow you to succeed you know them you see them but the enemy that did not allow god to succeed in you what do you do to them so you want to succeed in your life you never even think how god that creates the life will succeed in you how come you will succeed and the owner will fail and you say your life is not your life now great spell oh, because if you die how will you open mouth and say god forgive me forgive you for what for what you don't know Abby. your wife is your wife i came to your marriage i know it's your wife i even give you gift i know she's your wife i came your out you are not at all i slept with her and i came back to you i say brother why did you marry such a beautiful woman <laughs> it is the beauty that now tempts me now i go and finish before i know forgive me oh yeah how do you say it after the full knowledge and that is what is happening your action towards that person is the same action they are preparing god to have for you by making you sharing those that do not know truth can say, God, I don't know. Tobacco can turn when kilo first saw. When come to your turn, wait till you go talk. When others say, God, I don't know. When it is your turn, what will you say? There are some enemy you can keep malice with them. But there are some enemy, if they are keeping malice with you, you are the one that go and drag them and kiss them. I don't do that now. Me will talk now with your friend. You are doing that every day. When physical enemy that want to kill your child, kill you, if God exposed to you, even though they say he's sick, to even say Pele will be difficult for you. But spiritual enemy inside you, after you promise God, I will not lie again. I will not do this again. Not be the lie come meet you. Now you go see God do def- a physical enemy their battle is the, is the simplest one but the spiritual enemy do you know the enemy i'm talking about the enemy living in your heart are the most giant enemy of your life listen to what the lord is saying stand up and state your case against me god was so angry when husband tried all he could to make his wife love him and all the wife could see is what is wrong Everything that man do to gain our love is in vain. You know, this man try everything, it does not work. And one day he got angry and said, what have I done to you? Why can't you love me? Am I that bad? And the master said, remember, you remember what I did when your father died. Tell me any other in-law that do that. Remember what I do when your mother sick. Other sibling, their husband, do they do that? God started remembering all those things. What have I done that make you to hate me so much? I read. He said, stand up and state your case against me. Let the mountain and hill be called to witness your complaint. He said, tell me, let the, wit- let the mountain be witness of your complaint. All you can remember is motto your mates riding and your god never buy motor for you but the mountains and the ground the soil is the witness that your mate is in mortuary and you are in sanctuary yes you can remember that your mate is riding car but the land the plant will witness against you that your mate in the mortuary and you are in sanctuary imagine those one in such in mortuary could rise up and be in your place today imagine how glory the, the the joy will be the praises will be in this place they will never remember to complain all your complaints the ingrate never count what god has done but the ingrate always tell God what he has never done. They go to mountain, they pray, they fast. 
God, where is your face? Why me? Why don't you answer me? The pastor will say, sister, you are not praying. He will be telling pastor, daddy, I pray. Even God know that I pray. Then what's your prayer? You only pray to arouse God's anger. You never pray to arouse his love. Because your prayer show the image of ingrate. Better not even to pray than to arouse his anger the more. And read. He said, verse 2. And now, O mountain, listen to the Lord. Complain. Say your own, O but God is now ready to complain his own now. Verse 2, say, And now, O mountain, listen to the Lord, complain. He has case against the people. He will bring charge against Israel. Verse 3. O oh, my people, what have I done to you? What have I done to make you tired of me? You are weary. You are tired of me. You believe I'm not smart like other gods. Comparing our God to the God of the pagans. What have I done to you that make you come to this level? When God starts to fight, no living thing can stand. Be careful of the personality that no personality can stop him. Be careful. Beware and be careful for that God that can shake every unshakable. He said, that verse 3 again, Oh my people, what have I done to you? What have I done to make you tired of me? Answer me. Verse 4. For I brought you out of Egypt and redeemed you from slavery. I set Moses and Aaron and Miriam to help you. What did you want again? How many did your mother burn? Out of five, you are one of the three that survived. What do you want? Out of the people in that bus, the half accident, 18 passengers, the only four that survived, you are one of them. What did you want? When they strike you to run mad, other people are on the streets running mad. I kept you saying, what have I done? Other people have lost their sight, their leg, their hands. I kept yours. What have I done? When other people lost their children, I kept your own safe. What have I done? All you know is the house you never built. But you refuse to see those that have estate. They sold it off to keep their health. What have I done? All you can see is the food you never ate since morning. Or small meat on your food. But you never see or remember the most beautiful man and woman in the prison yard. That cannot demand food. Until they gave them what they feel like giving them. When you walk with your leg in the street. You never remember to say thank you Lord but there are some people that their uncle or nail becomes stiff they cannot fold their leg and march all they can do is to drag the leg the leg some are educated more than you some are in the rich family the uncle and the nail are stiff I'm still their God. They still praise me. What have I done? That get you so tired. To a stand you cannot remember how to love me. What have I done to you? When others carry their soldier. But the hand cannot move. The vein to their hands. Has lost power, dead. They cannot twist anything. They cannot open their fingers. They cannot use it. The hand is useless. But the one I gave you, you use it against me. You use that same hand 
to dip your hand into your pocket and brought out the most tattered, wretched, and torn money, and also the most lowest denomination, to come and give me what have I done? When I bless you, you make that blessing to make the poor one around you to regret living. You don't know how to produce praise from what I gave you. You don't care to enter market to buy a cloth of 200,000 and wear it beside a man that cannot buy 2,000. And when they look you, you even say they jealous. You call them jealous enemy. You don't know that their food is on your table. You must serve them. You don't remember their cloth is in your pocket. You must buy it. You don't remember when I make you a supplier to my people. Whatever I put in your care, you swallow it. And when people arose in anger to fight you, you call my name. Why? What have I done? Why are you always become mistake whenever I do good things to you? You make me regret why choosing you. Why are you so wicked? You always remember God never answered this man. But whenever someone answer is in your hand, you never realize you never answer. Only my mistake you pick, you never realize yours. What have I done? Oh no, Nisha, if Bato Nisha to your call, Roy, Roy, Lot of Fon, your Shora, you shall have Bolo, we won't pay me. And yet, you pay me. Is your Durare or Warren Mofisi so down? You will not pay me, dear. Come, Mabushi, and Rilara. The Lord is talking. When I gave you work, you get income. Someone beside you me just 50,000 but I gave you above 500,000 you are saving that 500,000 to acquire a land to become landlord you want to upgrade your status and I gave someone destiny into your hand to upgrade them just 50,000 you can not upgrade a man like you can't you see the distance between land and heaven you call me from that far heaven to upgrade you I did Someone is beside you. You can't upgrade. What have I done to you to deny me of my glory from that man? You deny me of my glory and all you could do is to claim your right from me. Who are you? Why did you think like that? I am the Lord, says the Lord God Almighty. When God make you mighty, why did you always belittle yourself? By denying my glory, says the Lord God Almighty. Why did you refuse to answer someone's prayer and you want me to do it? Yes, I am the Almighty. That is why I'm able to make you mighty to somebody like you. Whenever I give you opportunity to be a mighty man to someone, you deny it, your ear and close your eyes. You just want me to bring more. Someone need little from yours. Why can't you be mighty to them? I did not go to them. I come to you believing you are the special one that will set to them. So that all of them will gather and praise me through you. Did you do that? Why are you tired of me? Says the Lord. God Almighty. Wobi ka toro lorun eyan la ma ri gbogbo eni ton ri o soro lorun nara re ka to gbo un ha seda e ohun e da la ma ko gbo o omo lorun ami olorun da laaye re ani ka toro lorun o eyan la ma ri Gbogbo 
Bogu awon to wa miracle to Olorun e si nko so ti je won Aso odun enikan o wa ninu account ti e lowo lowo To ba ra fun won omo ti e na nbo wa rin o Iwo saye enikan o wa ni owo re Somebody healings Healings is in your custody. Go down on your nail and pray for healing for them. Even though they don't like you, it is your duty. Just do it. I want to cut it, Jabi. Ninu a yeri tori wa wa. Nigba talk bada yik bada. One in lo eni re re kan koba wa bebe. Ti e ni kan lo mo o ra bi ati gbadura fe lo miran o ola olorun da laye re ko to ma bebe let's change why are you so tired in doing good thing whenever it is your turn to lift away body from a man did you know lifting away body from a man can be brother god never forget you i don't care whom you are god created you he will remember you so that statement can restore revive a man somewhere but every day all you can see in him is olobukware in balon pe so down aye wa baje wa nsokun olohun le daru e lo nboro ha you don't just condemn people with your mouth. Remember, he's a sinner. You are also one. The sin may be different to each other in another category. Sin is sin. Blue or black. Sin is sin. Only that job will do do. Koni she she, but be a she ne kan. Te te yigba da ore o kuro ni nu e she. Be olonu ni nu o do do lati nu o kare. Ala nu wa yo she anu fun o. Anu ki su baba tu ba fe she anu. Anybody, oh, go sati ye wo go ripeto uto lo finche. Ina lo wa la ile ni kan baba me yo si ano. Listen, stop counting the days of your fasting when your lifetime never counts for mercy. Stop giving God emotional blackmailing. <laughs> Since I give my life to Jesus, nothing is working well. Hey, that's a blackmailing. Have you ever cried since you give your life to Jesus? You never make God happy for one day. Did you remember that statement? Have you ever done that? Stop emotional blackmailing so that you don't cripple the new one that is growing in the Lord. Stop making them to feel that our God is a loser or weaker. If you cannot confess, then close your mouth. I but on the But So long walking a year. If you say nothing is working, did you walk it? Excuse me. God is not a lazy king. God will never do what you can do when you are able to do it. God will only do what you can do but not able. Maybe you are disabled, brain, or, or, or hand or leg. That is only when God will do it. God will never do what you are able to do. Let me go back to that verse and read for you. Verse 5, don't you remember my people? Our King Balaam 
of Moab tried to have you cursed. And Aobalam son of Pio bless you instead. I did it. When the world release curse on you, how I turn into blessing. When they say you will die and I make you live. When they say you will sink and I make you strong. And when they say you are locked and I lose you free. When they say you will run mad and I make you wise. Did you ever count that? What have I done that make you tired of me? I read. He said, and remember your journey from Akashia Grove to Gilga, when I, the Lord, did everything I could to teach you about my faithfulness. All those things you call problem, the Lord say, is nothing but teaching. When the Lord is teaching you, you call it problem. You call it pains. You call it frustration. Why? Why did you fail to understand teaching? Excuse me. The day you shouted on your son, on your daughter, get up, get out, stop it, stay down, close your mouth, not now, not yet. You don't deserve it yet. You are not mature enough. I cannot give it to you now. You are too small to get it. All the time you say that to your children. Are you a bad parent? Then why? Whenever God do anything like that, you will still say enemy is at war. Why are you so damp? You don't even know when your God is showing love in training. Why did you always call God's hands the devil's oppression? Why are you always insulting God? When your child in primary four, five said, Daddy, I need Android phone. You say, no, you are too small. Why did you say that? God, my mate is using moto. No. Why can't you take it? Why is it difficult to see yourself as the most loved and favored one on earth? Why, are, why is it that? Only the opposite side you can see. Do you know how many legions of fallen angels jealousing you angrily now? He replaced you with the mighty ones. You are an, an replacement. God replaced you with the fallen angel. We called angel once. You can call them demon today, but they were once an angel better than you times thousand. For you to be the replacement, you must be better. It is only here in church we can manage your weakness, not in heaven. Excuse me. If you are illiterate, you stop in primary five. And somebody that have master degree was sacked from that office. And they say, come and handle the office. Even though you cannot read the big English, just make sure collect the file from the, uh, the people working and submit the file to the office of Shiama just to carry file, submit file. And you can read the thing at the back of the file. Secretary report, accountant report, and put it in places. You forgot your, your level before they put you there. You forgot. And the next thing, he say, the person in this office, he never even start to work before they buy a car. I'm in this office for past three years. They never buy a car. Because they gave you the same salary like him. Make you forgot that you are not qualified like him. You are just putting there to replace, to teach him lesson. God just use you as a theory, a lesson to him, not that you are qualified. That is why we call it grace. In fact, amazing grace. It's a grace what you are not qualified for. Why messing it up? Why claiming right that is not yours? Stop claiming right that is not yours. 
if we are to open the record of the of the generation in your generation did you know how many missionaries that have been killed in your family that their blood is still crying in here before you claim the right there are some their parents as flush and clean the ground with prayer and tears on their nail check your family has anyone sacrificed for the blood of the saint in your house hey don't be deceived by those men of god claiming i your anointing releasing blessing mantle of favor without sanctification beware of them miracle will come blessing will come salvation will not come if you want them the door is open go there but here in our office here in the ministry and the department of preparation of rapture those material things is crap to us you cannot do god with your little cry and fasting only obedience will bring thee to perfection when you refuse to do the right thing but you believe you can cry to get it it will never be done what did you want again what have i done to you says the lord and the worst part instead of repentance did you know what you do instead of realizing your mistake do you know what is happening in the church your wicked and terrible leaders claim to be pastor they taught you how to bribe god verse 6 make us 6 6 what can we bring to thy lord should we bring him burnt offering should we bow before god most i with offering of yearly cave yeah. stop it you don't molest his glory out there i'm coming here with dollars and pastorally in order to gain his favor any anointing that does that is a fake anointing no anointing will do against the will of god any anointing that doesn't mention your wrongdoing anointing that is afraid to tell you the truth so that you will not run out of church ah uh -uh, it's not from god the god the creator the rich and the poor will never be afraid of whatever he created which day are you afraid of the chicken you rear in your house which day are you afraid of the goat you are feeding the anointing of a man of god that is afraid to tell you the truth so that you will not leave the church check it is not from god a genuine anointing of the god that say in the book of proverbs 21 verse 1 that the heart of the king belonged to him he directed it to where he like the same god will never tell a man of god be careful if you see it too deep they were wrong it's not from god instead of repenting and seek for the will of god i'm afraid mommy please is god happy with me what do i do to make god happy that the spirit of god speaking in you but you never realize god is not yet happy but you stupidly open your dirty man and say god i'm not happy with you the way you are doing me i'm not happy oh. with my age no child something they do you uh, if you're not born god go die how many children will you born to be qualified of heaven with my age no husband leave your age because the day you die you'll be ageless age doesn't count in judgment mother of children cannot promote you everything that makes you cry there are some people somewhere saying god just give me another chance another chance don't give me child though. don't give me husband though. in fact i don't want marriage in fact if you like no give me house even though i'm sleeping under the tree just give me 30 minutes to come back to life and do correction maybe until you get there 
you will appreciate this time. It's like you are waiting for the time of no time to realize and appreciate the wasted time. You are waiting for the time of no time to appreciate the wasted time. Why? Because you are going to the land of no time. Where no calendar will be given. There's nothing like 1992, 2021. In the life you are going, no calendar, no year, no month, no week. All this thing is created by man, not by God. God caught can't time by man's life. It doesn't count by man's age. He counted by man's life. Go back to Bible. We are the one that creates calendar. God did not create. So that's your age is your own cup of tea. When God wants to count in the Bible, he will say, in the day of King Solomon, in the life, that is how he counted. it. And that's how our ancestors also count it. It is some airlights that come together and bring week, calendar, or whatever they do. Everybody be careful. How do you know you deserve to be rich? How do you know? Is it because you wake up early in the morning and sleep late in the night? I walk. I'm not a lazy man. I cannot be poor. Excuse me. Riches don't come by labor. Riches call by favor and when you are poor does not mean you are bad there's a record that ring in your data but what i'm saying is this god is good in your pains god is good even when you are shedding tears his plan is the best for you all you can do is to appreciate and say thank you even when you are shedding tears, learn how to say thank you. Even when it's not working out, all you need to say is thank you. Even when it's painful, all he deserves is thank you. But when you have capacity to challenge him, when you have capacity to challenge him, you will regret it. Instead of repentance, your leaders, so-called pastor, tell you to bring money, tithe, offering. They make you believe if your tithe is big, everything will work out. It's a lie. All those big, big churches. A man big, a cathedral, and hand over the key. Go and ask them. The man that built this big church, will he die? Let pastor answer you. Because somebody cannot build a big church like that and still die. Is it normal? They will die. Somebody that bought jet for daddy in the Lord would die. Take me to America. You will still die. Pack all your money in your account. Support my ministry. I bet you, you will still die. If you do it, it's good. God will add to your mark. But it's not going to be the score mark. Ah, it's not going to be the final card. It's part of it, but not the major. The Lord said, that's not what I need from you. With your situation now. Verse 7. Should we offer him thousands of ram and 10,000 river of olive oil? Ha! Ah. So select pain. Do you think it's a day, it's an idol? It's not an idol. That you can trample on his word and silence him with sacrifice. No, it's more than that. The Lord that creates your brain is wiser than you. Excuse me, the ram, the goat, the olive oil. Who owns it? Who gives it to you? Then who told you giving it back will stop him? Verse 7b Should we sacrifice our firstborn children? To pay for our sin. Who asks you that? No. Verse 8. No. O people. The land has. The Lord has told you. What is good. 
ibe ni ona yen ti wa ye pe ati fi won omo eniyan o n to olorun bere lowo re what is good and this is what he require of you just to do what is right and what is right obeying word of just to obey word of god is the right thing no matter how you give sacrifice <laughs> hey let all pastors say yahweh is not a sin for me liar say it's a sin because my bible says i should not shit anybody he say it's not shitting now they rob our father and we too will rob them and lie it is your wicked father all the slaves they carry from africa it is one of our father that sold them before on you both come we have been selling ourselves to each other if we don't sell ourselves how do we get slave some slave they capture them in war and turn them to slave but some people their family will give them out and collect money before when you both come apart from the people they cash at war and become slave our father line up black race our father put shame on them now our father sell our people to the stranger apart from the one they took in war they we sell ourselves to ourselves before we book home now you now say because they stole our land they stole our people any money i collect from them is paid back didn't you see in the bible that god say vengeance is mine some pastor even teach say eh, jacob is the first 419 abby oh yeah my worry make sure say you know that you to bat you cool and when you die repeat it to god tell god say jacob is a false 419 and let me see how the judgment is he said no oh my people the lord has told you what is good and this is what he requires from you to do what is right to love mercy love mercy that means you must love to show mercy to someone you must not have peace when someone is suffering even though he's suffering as a result of his mistake ability to even show mercy even under punishments must be there for you because the same thing you want when you do bad thing god is punishing you you still ask for mercy am i right then giving it to someone even is guilty he said and to walk humbly with your god be humble to god be humble to god if you are humble you won't challenge him if you are humble you will be patient if you are humble you will endure if you are humble you will understand if you are humble you will fear him i came late to church and the usher say brother come forward hmm there are some spirits that are dead you know some spirits when they die you will not believe it but they will still need to go around so we go around for seven days before they proceed i then to kula around sunday to sariwa churchy oh shall we oh shall we say say joko sibi mori mori elu shen shako i see some people die early on sunday morning he never realized he's truly dead he will still carry bible rush to church Osha will not see him Osha cannot see you it is because you are not dead they see you they are telling you this way you must sit down you say no this way i will sit down Osha leave and let him sit down he will soon die he will not own that chair again after you die come into the church sit down number one prayer work now them go first chase you back with holy ghost fire your own will be over that's why i'm begging you the, the year is running out 
where is your appreciation where is your art of thanks what has gone down to you that make you to forget everything he has been doing just to make you to love him stand on your feet you how many children do you have hmm? two which one is blind blind out of them no one lame out of them no one no one uh -huh. no, no. they're not blind which one is deaf no which one have a places no ah. the oldest one how old 13 13 and he never start taking drug no he never he never joined courts in the school no, no man ah. hey and are you born them yes ah none of them are you in the leg or hand no ah. Ah. none of your children have spinal cord problem no ha ah. eh? you are so powerful how did you do it there's no winch in their father's house there no darkness in your family no darkness. the area you are living darkness no day there then they are they blind they don't see your house they are sinners and nothing happened to your own it's God, too, it's God. and this year is end you still remember god never buy you car you still remember you never travel out in great stand on your feet why always remembering what god has not done why not appreciate all he has done what's your name let me talk by talk by ma talk by ma very far how come you can hear me i'm hearing you ma why because i can hear some are older than you they cannot hear <laughs> someone beside them will say. she be friend nobody give you answer before you can dictate yet all you can do is to come to church why me who are you who are you asking such a question is there anybody you lock in a room in your house before you come some people of your age have adult child disabled they have a room they lock them visitor must not see it they put beef in their chest before they eat did you have anything like that answer no then God is good. God is good. God is good. That is why when I saw a lady stand before a mirror and say, no, 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 no. I need to tone this skin. No, I need to put makeup. No, 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 no. This thing is bad. I don't like this. I don't like this. No be your fault. No be your fault. Maybe you can look mirror. There are some human beings on this earth when they look mirror, see their face, they are frightened. Yeah, Kilele. What did Akuda? It's not your fault. Along to power, cut your power, no far. Assuming you go with the with, with the dead, you will never stand and complain. No dead man complain. Lord, forgive me for being an ingrate. Forgive me for being an ingrate. Forgive me for being an ingrate. Daddy Jimmy, oh, I swear, more alone, share me, more collati, more. Forgive me, forgive me. Open your mouth and pray. Show your mercy, O oh Lord. Forgive me for being an ingrate. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. The last time I got to prison, evangelism in the prison. When I saw the pre the inmates there praising God, come and see talent in the prison. Ha! That day I realized. 
I'm nothing. That is why when I want to do my birthday, I took my cake there among them to celebrate because I see that these people know they appreciate God more than us. Ha! Ah, may God forgive us. Pray this prayer. I will first say it in Yoruba. I will not interpret in English. Let me interpret. Lord, that my child that did not cause me to go to court, prison, that did not cause me to sleep in mortuary or in general hospital. But yet, I never thank you. Forgive me, don't kill that child. Forgive me, don't kill that child. My health you gave me. All I can do with my health is to commit sin. Forgive me, don't take away my health. Down my mouth that can talk. That I did not, I cannot use the mouth to praise you. Forgive me, don't take away my voice. Don't close my mouth. Everything you give me and I did not appreciate you. Forgive me this time. Don't take it away. Open your mouth and pray. Daddy Jimmy. Magbale me. Daddy Jimmy. Forgive me. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, enemy is at the door. They are at the door knocking to open the door of sorrow. To open the door of pain. God, do not open for them. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. We are many that shout happy new year this January. But thousands of them are gone. Millions are dead. I am still here. We are still alive. You did it. You did it. We are not careful enough. You just did it. We are not smart enough. You just did it. We are not clever enough. You just did it. Yet, we still complain. Forgive us. We walk with our leg last year. We still have the leg walking. Forgive us. Ha. We are able to eat when some people are crying when they see food. Yet, we say we don't have enough. Forgive us. God, we can see. Then we discover we are not beautiful. Some people are blind. And they praise you every day. Forgive us. God, we are healthy. We work to make money. And we complain we don't have enough. Some are older than us. Mature than us. Sensible than us, but health challenge did not permit them to work. Yet they praise you. They cannot make money. Somebody feed them and they praise you. But we are here complaining every day. Forgive us. Amen. Forgive us. Amen. Forgive us. Amen. Show mercy. Amen. Everything that's supposed to produce praise that we deny you. Do not take it away from us. Do not take it away from us. Because when we deny you, you can take it away. And when you take it away, we like it or not, we will still thank you. When I see someone that bury a husband and still come church for Thanksgiving, I will say, 
Alapadupe. Ha! When the man day, he did not know, he did not come for special thanksgiving. But after losing the man, spending money in Beria party, and the income from that man short after losing the love, the income, the protection, he will still come for thanksgiving. And he no fit to say he no go thank you. But those that have their own, all they can do is to complain. God, don't take it away. Our children, don't take them away. Our health, don't take it away. Our eyes, don't take it away. Our brain, don't take it away. Our house, don't take it away. Ola la kisa niye, oh la sho. Awa la kisa kan sku, wan ti swa sho wan. E wan ba to o nin ti nan ba joki lo she. God forgive us. Show mercy. Forgive us. Show mercy. Forgive us. Show mercy. God, cause us to praise you better. Cause us to praise you better. Jia mo kweda. Jia ro kweda. Jia mo kweda. Jia ro kweda. Jia mo kweda. Jia ro kweda. The spirit of ingrate depart from us. Depart. Depart. Stop arousing the anger of our God. Lord, give us another grace for correction to appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen.